A blessed morning, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is another day to begin another step forward as we continue what is left undone and what we need to do today. So if you don't know how to start your day, join me and let's devote a few minutes to just uh, study God's Word, learn on it, and meditate. So our topic for today is about not a destination but a beginning. So let's read in Acts chapter 2 verse 42. It stated, They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Na kahil naisip mo na dumating ka na, you had arrived when you became a Christian. And, and in a sense, you had. You arrived at the starting line ng karera. A race na nangangailangan ng devotion tulad ng mga unang nag-convert sa, sa Christianity na sinabi sa ating passage sa Acts. So si Aiden Wilson Tozer, a pastor and spiritual mentor, ay nagpapahayag ng temang ito sa kanyang masusing pagtingin sa pagbabalik isang kaganapan na higit na inilalarawan ng Biblia bilang place to start than to finish. So let's walk with Tozer. Sabi niya dito, conversion for the early Christian was not a destination. It was the beginning of a journey. Simula pa lang ito ng isang paglalakbay. And in the book of Acts, faith was for each believer a beginning, not a bed in which to lie while waiting for the Lord's triumph. Minsan sa ating kasabikan na magkakaon ng mga convert, napapayagan na lang natin ang mga tagapakinig na makuhang ideya na maaari nilang harapin ang kanilang buong responsibilidad ng isang beses at para sa lahat sa pamamagitan ng isang gawa ng paniniwala once and for all by an act of believing. So believing was not a once done act. It was an attitude of heart and mind. Yun ay ang pag-uugali ng ating puso at uh, isipan which inspired and enabled the believer to follow the Lord wherever he went. So let's walk closer to God. Whether in the first century or the 21st, the hope of heaven comes the same way, through believing faith in the Savior. So iyon ang unang hakbang sa panghabang buhay na pakikipagsapalakan ng paglalakad kasama ng Diyos. Ngunit, ang isang hakbang ay hindi gumagawa ng isang paglalakbay. Sa katunayan, maraming mga hakbang upang sudin. Ayon niya sa ating passage, So, we continually and steadfastly devote ourselves sa gawain ng Panginoon. And for lifetime, ang pag-study and pag-abide sa instruction ng, ng Panginoon sa kanyang word. And yes, we always need fellowship with other believers and communication with the Father through prayer. So, lahat ng yun ay nagre-represent sa step in the right direction. So, sana tayo ay magpatuloy. Magpatuloy lang tayo kung ito man ay uh, simula pa lang ng iyong journey o kung uh, iniisip mo na uh, ha ang haba na ng iyong paglalakbay o ang haba ng, ng iyong nilakad. Just focus to the Lord. And in the process of learning to walk and continue as you continue to walk, you'll discover that following the Lord is the only race in which you grow stronger with each step you take. So, I want to end here with a question. What would it look like for you to take one step forward in your devotion to God and in His people? Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your grace that is sufficient and for each of us. Thank you for giving us the strength that we need to face for our everyday life. Thank you, Lord, for giving the faith and hope to continue and trust your ways in and through our lives. Thank you for your spirit that guides us in our walk. Thank you for you are always with us. And uh, may each who hears your word today be encouraged and be empowered, Lord, despite of the hardships and struggles that they might be facing. Thank you, Lord, that you will give them the assurance. Lord, thank you for teaching us to trust you more and giving each of us a committed heart 
to devote in all that you want us to do and in all works that pleases you. We surrender all our fears and doubts to you. Thank you, Lord. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed day. Enjoy your day.